Hi everyone, my name is Maggie. I'm a product marketer at TeamGPT. And today I'm going to show you how to use the prompt library inside the platform. There are two ways to access your prompt library. You can either type in a slash and select the prompt that you would like to use or click the prompts button over here. TeamGPT has two main types of prompts. We have pre-built prompts created by us for various use cases. You also have custom prompts that you can create yourself. These can be saved in your private library or in shared folders for team collaboration. Let's create a custom prompt. I will click on the plus over here and I'll name this prompt social media post generator. You can set a preferred model for your prompt. When this prompt is used, the chat will automatically switch to your selected model. This is optional but useful if you know a specific model that will work the best for your task. I'm going to paste my prompt. When building your prompt, you can add variables. Variables are placeholders that have different values each time you use the prompt. To add a variable, use the double curly brackets as you can see over here. For example, in my prompt, my first variable is the platform I want to write the post for. Then I also have the tone and the key message. Variables make your prompt reusable. When you add variables with double curly brackets, TeamGPT will ask you to fill them in each time you use the prompt. Variables can be anything, product names, audiences, keywords, or longer text inputs. Now let's save and use our prompt. As you can see, TeamGPT asks me to fill in the variables we created. I will enter LinkedIn for platform, professional as tone, and TeamGPT's new features for key message. After I have filled in all variables, I will click continue and the AI will use my prompt with the values that I have already provided. As your prompt library grows, organization becomes important. You can create folders to categorize your prompts by department, project, or use case. You can also choose whether to keep prompts private or share them with your team. You can also restrict editing. This means that workspace members won't be allowed to edit the prompt. Managers and admins can still edit. If you're not a prompt engineer and you're not sure how to write effective prompts, we have the solution for you. We have a prompt builder built in TeamGPT. The prompt builder will help you build your prompt based on your task. It will ask you a couple of questions to help structure your prompt. And after the prompt is ready, you can edit it or save it inside your prompt library. And that's how to use the prompt library in TeamGPT. The prompt library will help you save time and ensure consistency. Thank you for watching.